Um, I've now somehow gotten lost. Ew. You guys, I'm having a bit of a crisis. Okay, you guys are gonna have to tell me how it looks because... No flex, zone, whoa. No flexing. I know better. Hey Alexa, off. What's up, fellas? As you can see, we are back in San Diego, beautiful San Diego County. It is actually insanely cloudy today, and that's really annoying me because it's been like record gray here in the last month, so that's fun. And it's still gray today. My tan is going away. You guys, I'm having a bit of a crisis. That's why I'm coming on here today because what am I doing with my life? <laughs> I love being 25. I love being in my 20s. Like it's been so fun. Such a fun little roller coaster journey. And it actually has been really fun. I'm not being sarcastic about that, but there are times like today where, you know, I just got back from New York, had an amazing trip, ran the all out mile there. So I was focusing kind of on that for the last 30 days. Being self-employed is like a YouTuber or just social media person. The world is your oyster. And that has pros and that has cons, obviously. Like I am my own boss. But today is one of the days where I feel very flustered. Today I'm like, what do I do now? I like need to decide what I'm gonna be doing with my life for at least the next 30 days to like, you know, keep me going somewhere moving forward. And so ever since getting back from New York, I've had just like a little bit of an existential crisis. And I don't really know how I'm gonna solve that. But the worst thing I could possibly do is just lay on my couch all day, which is what I did yesterday and it made me feel really bad. So we gotta take action. I don't know what that action is, but making a YouTube video I think will help. And if you guys have any ideas of what I should do with my life, leave them in the comments down below. <laughs> As you can see this morning, I'm wearing a lovely dress. It is very cute. It's from Urban Outfitters and I got it a couple years ago, but this morning I was gonna have like a beautiful morning. My hair, like it looks a little messy, but it's giving beachy waves. And I haven't really brushed it this morning and I kind of like it. I kind of like the beachy waves and it's making me think that I actually do have wavy hair and then I should stop brushing it out and that's why it gets really frizzy. So I need to like figure out what to do with that, but I didn't want to ruin it. So I was like, maybe I just have myself a little morning. I'm getting my nails done at two because please just look at how musty and crusty these are. They look good from far away, but then look at how outgrown they are. My nail tech Knows how to keep it real secret. No, my nail tech's gonna be pissed at me for letting it grow this long. Besides the point, it's like nine in the morning right now. I've eaten two peaches in a crazed foods bar, so I'm feeling a little energized, no coffee. I've been talking for five minutes and I've said nothing. But then I decided this morning, what am I gonna do this morning? It's gray outside, I'm not gonna go head to the beach right now. I don't really wanna go shopping. I don't really have that much work to do. I already like did my podcast for this week. I mean, I could clean my car, but that sounds terrible. And it's like, it would just ruin an outfit like this for no real reason other than washing my car that hasn't been washed in like a year. So, you know, I just disregarded all of that and I disregarded the fact that I have a cute dress on and that my hair is pristine this morning and I decided I'm gonna go work out. <laughs> I do feel like working out helps me though just stay mentally sane. I haven't really worked out since I got back from New York a couple days ago. It's just hard when I don't have something I'm working towards. That's one of the main things about being an ex-competitive athlete I find it very hard to like work out for any purpose other than like a goal or like something that I'm working towards. But I can tell I'm like very like anxious today. If I like just stay in my apartment and don't move my body, I will probably have a mental breakdown on this couch later today. So we're gonna go biking and ruin my hair and we can wear the dress later if we want. But at least we're getting outside and we're enjoying the beautiful breeze and clouds in San Diego. I'm gonna go over this bridge and go to Coronado and just gonna do like a little hour ride on the Silver Strand. I rode this weekend. Oh, so I did work out since I got back from New York. Whatever. I rode this weekend in North County. North County cycling, pristine, but I'm not driving all the way to North County because the gas is $7 in California. So we're just gonna drive to Coronado because it's 10 minutes away. So instead of wearing my lovely dress, I'm changing into my cycling kit. Three, two, one, yeet! Why did I just say yeet? The cycling kit Team Best, who I have not rode with in a minute. We've got Team Best uh, bib as well. Under Armour sports bra. We're gonna rock with the Gooder sunglasses. Oh, I'm so sad. My hair looks so, kinda looks raggedy actually. 
there's not really cute hairstyles that you can do on the bike. Usually I just do a low bun in the back, but I hate low buns. I might be able to salvage my beautiful hair today. I may just end up doing a braid and I can't braid my own hair. <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna have to tell me how it looks because from the front it already looks bad. So I can't imagine what this is gonna look like from the back, but. Oh my gosh, I messed up. This is gonna fall out. There's just no way this looks good. I'm already embarrassed to turn around. Okay, tell me how it looks. I need to look in the mirror. Oh, <gasps> you guys, you didn't tell me it looked that bad. Oh, that's horrendous. Whatever, I mean, it's gonna be in a helmet, who cares? I've never filmed on my stairs. Okay, I'm putting, this is such a weird, I feel kind of scary. For today's bike session, we're just gonna go for like an hour, I think. It's gonna be therapeutic, I think. I think I need a little emotional release to figure out what I'm doing with my life and what the next chapter is gonna look like. I really have no idea. That's exciting. I have some fun plans for the summer. Got the crew socks on, we got Crocs. My cycling shoes are in my car. Uh, this summer though, I'm excited because I'm going to Ben Crawford's running camp, new gen running camp to be a counselor. I love camp counseling, I miss it. I do feel old, like I'm like, okay, I am a little outdated for like being a camp counselor, but, but I do feel like Ben's camp is like the perfect excuse for me to be a camp counselor again. Because first of all, it's like really cool what he's doing with like the new generation of track and field fans and content creators and stuff, and I kind of want to be a part of it. So I'm going to offer my services as a camp counselor to train the next generation of media youngsters. I'm doing that in Boulder in July. I'm going to my old teammate's wedding in September. Allie Cash, if you, I'm sure you guys remember her. A Cash Money. So yeah, my girl Allie Cash is getting married. And it's so exciting because I saw this relationship start from literally day one when they went on their first date in college. So uh, I'm gonna be in their wedding, which is exciting. We're gonna go to Lake of the Ozarks in, and I've never been there and that's in September. What's in my bottle? Watermelon Noon Sport. So yeah, we got some fun summer plans. I'm just more figuring out like my personal life situation. Like what, what's my goal for the next couple months? For sure, one of my main priorities of the next couple months though is fitness. Like I just don't really feel good. Like I kind of feel tired a lot and I don't necessarily feel completely out of shape. I just don't feel great. And I just feel kind of lethargic and not like on point. So that definitely has to do with my physical fitness level. I know that because I don't know, my sleep's been fine, everything else has been fine really. But it's just hard because I don't really know what I'm going to like decide on doing for the next little chapter. And I know people are probably like, just run a marathon or like triathlon or do whatever. And I'm like, I cannot be impulsive again and I just need to like really sit down with myself and figure it out. Other people are probably like, why don't you just be a normal person and work out for fun? And I'm like, I can't, I have issues and I must have something on the agenda or else my life unravels, which is probably a problem in itself that I should work on. But that's not what we're gonna be working on today. So like I said, we're going cycling. I started cycling in 2019 and the best discovery I've ever made in my entire life. I actually made this discovery for running in 2018, but it really applies to my cycling. These are the Shox Open Run headphones. Shout out to Shox for sponsoring today's video. That is so exciting because I love these headphones and I've worn them literally since 2018. They are open ear headphones that have bone conducting technology, which means that you can hear what's going on around you when you're listening to music. And why is that the biggest deal ever for cycling? Um, yeah, because I'm literally in the bike lane cruising 20 miles per hour next to cars and I need to hear what's going on around me or that could be very dangerous. I never bike with other headphones. I literally only use these Shox Open Runs. They're IP67 waterproof, which means they are completely sweat and waterproof and I sweat so much, so I need that in headphones. They're really good for like extreme weather conditions. Someone that like lives in super humid areas, these headphones are literally perfect. And you know how normal headphones, they'll fall out of your ears if your ears like start sweating or they get sweat into them? That won't happen with the open runs because they don't go in your ear, they go around your ear. They're really lightweight and they're also 
so comfortable. I literally don't even feel these on my head and I could wear them literally all day and would have no discomfort at all. Battery life is really good as well. It holds eight hours of charge. And if you just charge these for like 10 minutes only, you get an hour and a half of listening time. Sound quality is amazing. Powered by patented eighth generation bone conduction, Bluetooth 5.1 and premium pitch 2.0 plus. These open run headphones deliver powerful volume, clear sound and a rich bass. Like I said, I use these for cycling every time. Running too works the same exact way, especially if you live in somewhere that's like a more secluded area and you don't feel safe having headphones in. Click the link down below right now to check out the Shox Open Run headphones. You're seriously gonna love them. I'm sure you've seen other people talk about them as well because they are seriously incredible. So like I said, click the link down below to go check them out. Let's like actually go biking right now because I'm gonna be late to my nail appointment if I don't leave right now. There's literally so much stuff in my car and I haven't cleaned it. And I just shoved my bike in here. Okay, let's go. I've talked so much today. I need to just go shut my brain off and go to work. Yeah. I'm in my Lana Del Rey era. Don't judge me. Okay, we got a good Spotify playlist. Just gonna bop uh, my like songs actually. So kind of boring, but let's get to it. I don't have my heart rate monitor. It's not charged, but I'm just gonna go by feel, whatever. Got the shoes. Save the Crocs for later. Why did that just creak? Why is that creaking? I think it's my brake pad. Birds are chirping. It feels tropical out here. It's so humid. Oh my gosh, I look like such a dweeb. We're all ready to go. Helmet, got the shocks on. Welcome to shocks, battery high. Let's get connected. We're off, let's go. Dweeb vibes. Oh my goodness. I feel like it looks so funny from like cars perspectives. Also, why are my legs tired? I haven't worked out since Saturday. <laughs> Here we go. Silver Strand. It's so cloudy. <laughs> it really is muggy. Like, I did not drink enough water this morning. Oops. It's not even that cold, but it's humid. And it never gets humid here, but we're just gonna um, ride to the end of the Silver Strand. It'll be like 20 mile ride, I think-ish. I'm already out of breath. Coming to the end here. I could go down a little farther, but I'm tired. My lungs hurt. So we're gonna turn around. It's already been a half hour, so. I'm hoping the wind is at my back on the way back because I think it was kind of windy. There we go, 31 minutes. The trek home. Look at the Coronado Bridge, it's beautiful. The sun's turning up. Oh my God, I'm tired though. I'm like already ready to be done, it's 48 minutes. <sighs> um, I've now somehow gotten lost. <laughs> Where the heck is my car? Uh. Left. Left? Maybe? This seems wrong. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm literally lost. I have no idea what street I parked on. Getting in a couple more minutes on the bike. I'm tired and I need to sit down. I made it back. Don't worry. Ew! Oh my god, ew, there's a bug in my jersey. I was like, why is my arm so itchy? And there was literally like a bug probably just like biting in me and nesting in me. I'm still disturbed by that bug. Ew. Back in the car. Crocs on. Looking fab as per usual. Oh my gosh, I'm roasting. Get me off. Ew, that bug literally, literally bit me. It was probably just like nibbling on my skin. Like, let me out, let me out of your jersey. Yuck. So gross. Them cash, get them, I'm zaddy dead. 61 minutes, 18.04 miles, 17.5 average speed. Not fast, but sorry, I'm really distracted. I'm just gonna um, drive home and then we can debrief there a little bit because I'm dramatic right now. <laughs> um, it's the next day. I came home from the bike and I was just like, I needed to just turn off the camera for the day. I was in a mood. Yesterday I was in a mood, so I stopped filming, but I did go get my nails done so they're no longer grown out and crusty and yeah, I'm just gonna end the video because I didn't want to just like end the video, you know? I just felt like I needed to say goodbye to you guys after blabbing your ear off for however many minutes this video ends up being. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, subscribe, like, bye fellas!